Thousands of new jobs are expected to be created in the black country. It comes as the government-backed enterprise zone in Darleston becomes one of the first in the country to be up and running. Well, the sites, which are earmarked for development, cover several derelict plots of land. Companies who move there will benefit from a variety of tax breaks and other incentives. Here's our business correspondent, Peter Plisner. The I-54 business park just outside Wolverhampton. This site clearance work going on today will pave the way for Jaguar Land Rover's new multi-million pound engine plant. Like other companies who move here, JLR won't pay any business rates for five years and will benefit from relaxed planning laws as part of government plans for a network of new enterprise zones. Although I-54 was the site that made the headlines when Enterprise Zones were first announced, since then a lot of lobbying has been going on to include other parts of the black country, including this derelict land close to the M6 in Walsall. Fifteen sites across Darleston have been designated as part of the extended Enterprise Zone and business leaders are hoping they'll attract companies who will make and supply parts into JLR's engine plant. The importance is that with only a seven minute motorway journey between the two sites, anyone coming to be sited here in the Darleston area can be on the I-54 site, two motorway junctions in seven minutes. Estimates suggest that more than 6,000 jobs could be created at both I-54 and in Darleston within the next three years, and some development has already started. This is another site which is also part of the zone. Here, developers are expecting many more inquiries. Uh, yes, there's generally uh, a lot more appetite uh, because of the business rates holiday and the relaxed planning laws. Um, I mean, time will see, but I think it should be a big incentive and it's a positive move by the government in the current economic climate. The Darleston Enterprise Zone opens for business after a decision last night by Walsall Council. It's thought to be the first in the country to approve plans which will allow the crucial relaxation of planning regulations. Peter Plisner, BBC Midlands Today in Darleston. Detectives have